Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Gabby. I miss you so, so, so much. I'm so happy you're able to join me for today's story, which is The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. This story was adapted by Miss Sydney at Overbrook. Now, let's get started. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and then pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie. One sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. All right, boys and girls, that is the end of our story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I hope you had fun listening and looking at the pictures. I know I did. Miss Gabby and Miss Steph miss you so, so much. And I'm so happy to hear that you are staying safe and healthy. Bye. Love you.